Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chuff, and I am here with a very special episode of something. Uh, guessing, perhaps a privy. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this is Westeros Craft, and it's based on Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire. It is a creative server and will eventually switch to being an RPG server. Um, that will happen once it's done being built. So it's being built right now as the, the show goes along and the books come out. And it's quite a bit farther behind than the books and the show. Um, but I think it's actually not too far behind the show. It's got a lot of main stuff from Westeros. Uh, it's mostly the free cities from Easteros that are on here. So I wanted to just give you guys a tour of this. Um, I've already read all these signs. Dun, dun, dun. Let's let it load in. So Westeros craft, pretty neat. So we got a dragon, dire wolf, stag, and a lion. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, you can apply to become a builder on here and help them build. I'm not um, probably not good enough at building for one thing, and. I just found out about this thing, so yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. But anyway, what their plan is is to create the entire world from the Game of Thrones um, show into Minecraft. So as they are going along, they're just they're adding more and more things. So let's go to the first thing that they built, which is Winterfell. So, was one of the first builds, and they're completely redoing it. You can go see um, the updated version of what they're working on. It's not done yet. It's just a basic outline. Jump. I don't know why it does this, but... Okay. But it seems like whenever I warp, it makes it so I can't fly anymore. Yeah, so this is Winterfell. Um, you can see it loading in. It's just... Excuse me, it's really big. Um, and as described in the books, it's got a taller inner t uh, wall and a shorter outer wall. It's one of the things I remember. I'm not a scholar of the books by any means. I just read it somewhat recently, so it's a little familiar. And I've only read it once, so. And then over here is, is like the Godswood or whatever it is, and this must be one of the burnt out towers. But yeah, you can go see this. It's got the face. Whoops. Um, and uh, let me show you something else that I found. Um, I had started recording this uh, before, and my computer crashed, and I lost the recording. And then when I was trying to recover it, I realized it didn't have any sound. So, yay! So maybe. I don't know, maybe this is one of the burnt towers or broken towers. I don't know. They, I think we talked about a few of them. But <laughs> I came, I, when I first started, I'm like, you know, like, like, which tower was it that brand got pushed out of? And I'm like, I saw this thing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> is, is that brand? I'm like, I bet that is. And then I look in here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, 
<laughs> if you're not sure what this is referencing referring to, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, that's where Brand gets pushed off. So that uh, oh my oh my gosh. That's that's all I can say. Oh my. But yeah, like you can see now that's loaded in. This is pretty epic. It's huge. Um real cool. So yeah, let's go somewhere else. So we can warp. Let's go to the map actually real quick. Kind of show you the map. So they have this 3D map, and they also have a 2D map. But Oh. I don't know why. Okay, so here is a big 3D overview of Westeros. So right here you have um Oh, look at the water. That's cool. How they do that? Just look at this. Huh. Wonder, wonder how they do that. That is awesome. So anyway, this... Oh, that must be the 2D map. This is... Oh my... My mind is going blank. This is that place. Um, where there are stuff and things. Yes. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Thinking of Dorn. Ha! <laughs> there is Dorn. I wonder what this is. So I wonder if this is where they they do a lot of the builds and then they just move them over. Yoshi, yeah. I remember him popping up in the... In the books. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Whoa. That's cool. So there's all kinds of cool stuff here. There's, um... I'm guessing it's like a temple that they can use to, like, kind of paint forests on into the world. Um, wow, just look at this. This is way cool. I haven't looked at this stuff before. So, yeah, there's the 2D map. The 3D map looks way cooler. So, Dorn, if I'm wrong, I don't mean to offend you. I'm not that versed on everything. I just, like I said, just finished reading the books. Look at somebody's exploring. We have King's Landing here. We got the veil. We got the fingers. We got um, somewhere. That's the Dread Fort right there. This is Winterfell. And there's the wall. So that's where I want to go to next is the wall. But yeah, you can see this is a wall. And then here's all of the different forts so you can go to East Watch, Long Barrow, blah blah blah, Mole's Town, Shield, The Wall, Castle Black. This is a good place to go. So we'll go to Castle Black. So you can see it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But like you can see in that map, Castle Black was right at the wall. And so you'll kind of see it as we get closer and it loads in. This thing is just epic. I don't know why it does that. But let's go to the top and we can take a look. I don't think I want to run up these stairs. I think I would just take the, the thing up, given the choice. So yeah, you can just see how massive this thing is compared to 
everything and just how high it is. So here's the top of the wall. And then as it loads in down there you'll see you can kind of see on the map in the top right it's just barren right here and then you can kind of see the trees coming up so um, in the books they had mentioned that for, for a long time the Night's Watch had been clearing the trees from next to the wall so there's a nice path between where the trees start and the wall starts you can, so they can see anybody coming towards the wall so that's pretty cool and so you can just keep going down here and you can see all the other forts um, yeah like the whole length of the wall and I'm not sure what the scale of this world is it's not like a one-to-one -one thing it's something like one to a hundred or something like that I forget um, but yeah like it's still just massive when you just consider how how large that is that's just nuts and then we can go to Nah, I don't know how to spell it. Um, we'll go back to spawn because they have all the little signs you can click. So, pardon me, I'm yawning. I guess I'm tired. Um, so yeah, so you can see these colored ones here are, um, so Lannis Port and Casterly Rock, um, you know, these are big places that are, that are talked about quite frequently. So... That's Casterly Lock. Casterly Lock. Um, so yeah, this is Lannisport. Yeah, see, I can't fly. I don't know why. But it's cool. It's a you know completely different theme than. The previous things that you saw Winterfell or or Castle Black or anything like that so um, that is pretty cool Got some nice mountains yeah it's kind of not loading it very fast for me today but you can see there's a lot to lot to load in and then Go back. Oh, I can't jump over the wall. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, to the veil because I thought that one was pretty cool. Um, so high towers got started. High garden. And go to Pike. River Run, go to the Twins, that's where the Red Wedding happened. Uh, Winterfell, Castle Black, the Dreadfort. Irie, here we go. Alright, so. Come up here, and then I think, yeah. So this is the main hall. And um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. And I guess this is the moon door. Yeah, 
Uh, and they got the little bones laying here. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, oh, there's a skull and blood. Huh. That's awesome. Yeah, and like the reason why they have that is because these are where the cells are. So you got the moon door. And then you have the cells. That's weird that they're open. Because when I was on here the other day, they used to be all closed. All these doors. That's cool. So yeah, those are the cells. That's just absolutely terrible. But yeah, anyway, you can see the path that didn't just give you, um, that didn't make you all dizzy. Give you Virgo. That's cool. But yeah, the, you can follow this road. It's the road that you have to take it to get up. Thing. So it goes down there, then it comes back here, goes over this mountain, and takes us down, and then zigzags down this mountain, down to the base, where that one place is, right there, the one place. I don't remember, come on, jeez, gosh. Just look at that, that's so cool. Okay, and then... Um, let's see... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what words those were. Alright, so this is the Red Keep. Um, at King's Landing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, there's the Iron Throne. Look at that. I haven't even... I haven't seen this before. Hello! <laughs> that is pretty cool. I think that will make a good thumbnail, eh? Eh? I'm getting all sniffly. <sighs> that is cool. So. Eh. I'm sitting on top of the Iron Throne. Jumping in. Wahaha! Oh yeah, so I could, I don't know this this stuff is amazing. It's so cool, um, just epic, you know. And like, look at this. Okay, yeah, I'm getting all stuffy all of a sudden. Wow, just look at that. And Blackwater Bay. So that's pretty cool. Um, they said eventually they are going to work on the free cities across the Narrow Sea, but that's a ways off. They got a lot to do. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we will end our adventure here I think as good a place of any as any to uh, end an adventure I could fly huh there we go flying 
<laughs> it's really cool how they, that water does that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is awesome. If you guys are interested in checking this out, if you're obsessed with A Song of Ice and Fire like I am, well, I'm interested in it. I'm really interested in it right now. I'm not obsessed completely. So, <laughs> but I really like it. Um, but yeah, there's a link in the description web of the website where you can go and learn how to come on the server and check it out for yourself. It is seriously just epic. I recommend it. Even if you have never read or don't like it, just the builds that are here are just, just amazing. Anyway, you guys are awesome. I will catch you next time. Bye.